relax. Hey, Great. get so calm. Bobby, you don't even know how much trouble you're getting me into. No, what are you doing? Oh, Bridget! <laughs> Tonight on Big Brother, what's bothering Bridget? If I go home, it could wreck my life. The house all in its tears over a hair straightener. There's five girls who want a hair straightener. We'll have to wait for it, Dean. Like, seriously, the next time I straighten it, I'm going to have to cut, like, that much off my hair. And Nobby's revenge on Terence. Sometimes the manta rays from the Great Barrier Reef make the coral. Yeah, yeah. The rest of my state, I'm going to talk like that to Terence. Hey, come in. Last night, I usually clean up before I go to bed. Last night I didn't. I just thought, let's see if anyone else did it. No one else did it. I'll that. do the dishes this morning while you make bread. Good because idea. I'm going to be up. Yeah, good idea. So, you make bread and Because I don't bread. usually like getting up to this. Mm. I thought, no, we'll just see what happens. And that's what happened. Man, we're gonna be here all morning cooking ice. There's gonna be so much left over. I'm gonna need to make more milk after this. Hopefully Nobby, Nobby will probably want some or someone will want some. Yeah, but will Nobby be up in time for oats? Probably not. He just sleeps in all day. Everyone stays up late to keep him company. And then, he, then... Stay, he stays in bed till like the afternoon. Yeah, so he recovers and then we all pull up in the morning like, oh. How are you feeling after all that happened last week? Starting to feel better? Yeah, pretty good. Like, obviously it was a bit of a shock to us last week and like, um, yeah, like I said to, to Nobby, it was probably good that um, we had, while you guys were in the dump, <laughs> time, to chat. time to kind of just have a bit of a think and... I noticed you've been um, sort of standing up for yourself a bit more now. Yeah, and that's one of the, the good things that it taught us. Like, it just has made, has taught us that if you don't stand up for yourself and if you do um, get in that position, it leaves yourself vulnerable for that kind of situation to pop up again. All right. So. What about you? How are you after last week's? Um, yeah, I sort of feel like we're growing a bit apart, Travi. Oh, you do? Yeah, but like, I feel like, but that's obviously because you want to um, work to get our trust back on track and stuff. Mm. But like, um, yeah, I feel like it's a bit different to what it was before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think so. But hopefully, hopefully it can get back to what we were like. No. How yeah, would you expect it to get back to that, Travi? Just time. Well, see, that's the thing. I've never been put in that situation before, so I don't really know. Um, and usually, like, everything that I've been confronted with in this house so far, I've been able to just kind of chat about it and get over it pretty quick. Yeah. You know? Um, but, yeah. This was it, different. It was a bit different this time, yeah, because it was just like, although, like, I know that it was just a mistake and that has just put that element of doubt in my mind. Yeah. You know? And that will eventually go away. Do we need more than three apples, or do you reckon three apples is enough? Uh, we'll see what it's like. Because we need to chuck these apples in now, too. Oh, this is feral.
let's let's ask if we can do something like a hair straightening challenge. Yeah, like I just don't understand why we don't have one. I yeah. really don't. And I was actually informed that there was one in here. Yeah, so was I. And now my hair is like seriously. The next time I straighten it, I'm gonna have to cut like that much off my hair because it's just singed down the bottom. Because it's always curly, and I'm brushing it and ripping yeah. out, and it's always like tangled and knotted up, and yeah, it's my breaking. Extensions, like right You're now, wrecking my hair. My extensions I hope you are pay as for thin it. as they were after like four months of having them, and I've only had them for six weeks now. Yeah. I'm gonna pay for a conditioning yeah. treatment like every week until it recuperates. <laughs> I wish it was sunny. Trev's starting to bother me, eh? Really? With what? He's just, I just spoke to him this morning. Just, he's being real distant and stuff and and sort of keeping me at like arm's length. All right, we shouldn't have, I mean, you know, we didn't know how touch he was going to get, but like why, why blow it out of proportion, you know? Like why keep going with it? He did it, he's not going to understand, he's not going to understand. You've got to sign the prenup, but then what you do, you drop a couple of bambinos, and then you got them because they got kids, you see, and the prenups but go darling, out the window, look darling. look at my body. I don't want to have kids. I would just wreck it. I know, but can you possibly go through the adoption process yourself like Bruce and I did? Adoption, that's a great that's idea. That's it. It's just so stupid. He's just being... Like, it actually was a uh, misinterpretation. I might have another word to him because he's... Don't bother. I've, we've said what we can, man. But like you said, it was a misinterpretation. He said, no, nah, no, nah, I don't think it was. Well, he's, you know how he is, Benny. I mean, how can you get on with someone like that? How can you have a friendship with someone that, if they do have an issue, they just keep it inside and ruin it, like, for they days? Just, because he doesn't like conflict. He doesn't like saying stuff like that, you know? That's just how he is. You know, he's very nice and means good, you know what I mean? Because he has a great heart, you know yeah. what I mean? But in the end, you need to, to make decisions, right? and tem tell people, you know what I mean? How they really feel, right? And you have to be straightforward with them. He's not gonna be able to do that, you know? Yeah. I always find that zhuzhing seems to work too. Sorry? Zhuzhing. Zhuzhing, how do we spell it? <laughs> I'm Bridget, honey, I don't know. You don't know how to spell I have people that spell things <laughs> for me. I'm Bridget, I don't know how to spell zhuzhi. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Coming up, what Bridget doesn't want her fellow housemates to know. She would have said she was single to get on here. Oh. But she's actually got a boyfriend on the outside. No. You know where I come from? Deep within your heart. <laughs> Deeper and deeper and deeper. I just Has anyone ever told you you're a freak, Norton? No. I'm just here. By the way, guys, I've set myself a personal task. For the rest of my stay in the Big Brother house, I'm going to talk like that to Terence. <laughs> Terence has been driving Nobby mad with his jokes and stories, but Nobby has come up with a novel way to cope. Talk in meaningless gibberish whenever Terence wants a conversation. How's that Hutt River province? Yeah. What a classic. Ah! You know about the Hutt River province, Nobby? Like that. Some people, yeah, just there's, a, there's a station, yeah, like a cattle station, yeah, like up north of Perth, about 500 k's yeah, up. Yeah, and I don't know, must have been 20, 30 years yeah, ago, they seceded from Australia and formed the Hutt River Province. The rice farms. And they became, it was Prince Lennon. And they seceded. Sheep stations on my boys, I will paint them, no, no, no. Do it, do it. <laughs> Kevin Spacey told Winston Churchill once that his eyeballs came from the back of his head. But sometimes the manta rays from the Great Barrier Reef make the coral. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alice, you heard of the Hutt River province? Alice? You haven't? About 30 years ago, a cattle station up north of Western Australia near Geraldton about 500 k's up, seceded from the rest of Australia. I've heard that. Yeah, they did. They seceded from Australia. Oh! What's that for? No, I'm not... Yay! It's not my fault she flirts with Cherry. I am not Nobby, 
shut the f up, you loser. What am I doing? I'm standing here throwing hoops at a cow. As a couple. No, don't hit me. Just don't. What, don't... me and Travis and Cherry is a nice couple? No, Travis wasn't in there before. Now it's a trio. Oh, Travis no, is just the third wheel, it. dude. No, what are you doing? Oh, oh Bridget. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Nobby, just shut up. You don't know anything. Yeah, you really got to relax. Hey? Go, it gets so cut. Nobby, you don't even know how much trouble you're getting me into. And I can't explain the story to you. I think I know what it is. No, you don't. Just stop talking about it. Well, it's not my fault that you, you know, you put yourself all in this situation. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh. Oh! <laughs> All right. I don't think so. She's got a boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. She would have said she was single to get on here. Oh. But she's actually got a boyfriend on the outside. Mm. She's with him. Like, this, he told her this is a test um, of their relationship. And if she gets through this, like, it just shows that she's loyal to him or whatever. Oh. So they're sort of like a couple, but not official. Oh. Maybe we should stop, just in case. But it's like Nobby said, it's not our fault, like... Yeah, that's right. We only it's know what she's fault. told us, you know? And we can't just mind read that these situations are there. What are you doing, Travis? It's right up against the wall. Yeah, that's fine. After the break... Housemate wars over a hair straightener. He won't go straightener regardless. Why though? Out of principle. Each week, housemates are given gold coins as pocket money and can buy things from a vending machine. This week, as head of house, Nobby's in charge of the limited budget. How many coins, bro? Uh, we have 18 coins. Oh, woo. All right. And each thing has six coins, okay? Wow. They are coffee pods, diary wow. room dinner date for two with juicy steaks and wine, 11 melt in your mouth chocolate bars, oh, 11. bedroom makeover, <gasps> bedroom makeover. hair straightener, pamper pack, 11 cans of soft drink. Bridget's party dress. Yay. One frisbee and one footy. Okay, so Bridget, you want your party dress? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yes. All right, so Bridget's party dress is one. Now, I don't think coffee pods or uh, are the go. Yeah, no, no, no I don't pamper want... pack. There's, no cho there's not enough chocolate. Yeah, not, not enough chocolate. I don't want the chocolate. And I'm not getting a hair straightener, sorry. No pamper pack and no can of soft drink. So what have we got left? What's left? So what's that, like a bedroom. frisbee? Footy in the bedroom. Bedroom makeover and footy. I'd prefer the hair straight. Yeah, we'd prefer the straightener, Nobby. Yeah. All right, put your hands up for straightener. Put your hands up for bedroom makeover. Oh, no. The bed will be fun. Something yeah, yeah new beds. Beds are good but idea. We've had the same one for seven weeks. And I don't want to continue Six sleeping weeks. with everyone because everyone's getting really cold. The bed. What's the bed set up look like, man? It's so like one, two, three, and four people in a big bed. One, two, three. Point the only thing is it won't be hot and everyone gets a... I don't know if that's cool. Pretty much. At least at the moment we can jump and it's big and fun. I don't mind a how. Yeah. Does it, like, that's not a major issue. I thought we were all going to get singles, like, when they said makeup. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's cool. This is Big Brother. Housemates, your time is up. Nobby, go to the vending machine in the backyard and make your selections. All other housemates, you must remain on the lounge. Why is he lying? He won't go. He won't go straight in a regardless. Why though? Out of principle, because he said it, and he's a man by his word, so he won't do it. Ah, uh, sorry. First, I'll choose Bridget's dress. Ugh. No, he won't go. To it. He's yeah. not going to pick a straightener. Nobby doesn't want the straightener. We can't do nothing about it. There you go. Most of us would have picked the straightener for up there. I don't drink food. All right, the next one. You got I like that I can roll over and chocolate. hold Bridget's Dress, hands. chocolate bar. <laughs> Frisbee. Frisbee and footy, yellow footies back. We should have gone. We got chocolate! 
F. Yay! Bridget. Yay, Bridget, 21st. Yay. Yay. Woo! It doesn't match my shoes, though. Bridget? Oh, oh Len, you saw I got those black so. ones. <laughs> Bridget, look where we are, girl. Yeah, me too. Can I get a white chocolate? Oh, What's a whip? Can you oh. check my box? Can you get a white chocolate? Yep. Whoa! Yes! He catches it and... There's five girls who want hair straightener. We'll have to wait for it, Dan. It's just seven, seven weeks now, and it's been on there nearly every single week. We still haven't got that. You know so what? If one of us win Friday night games, I bet there won't be a straightener in the vending mm. machine. It's just they can get footies, but we can't get straighteners, so it's like... <laughs> yeah, but the football keeps them active. The hair straightener so make us look pretty. <clears throat> I think it's not about active, I think it's about happy, keeping us happy, and a soccer ball keeps them happy and a straightener keeps us happy. So. Yeah, they've got stuff out there to keep them active, they've got weights. Exactly, and they've got all sorts of stuff, and big balls, what I've been, been oh. using for the last You're, you're talking about being healthy, yeah. a hair straightener makes my hair healthier than it would be if it was curly, straightener. because right now cool. I'm brushing out matted knots in the shower. Yeah, and I'm brushing out my expensive $200 hair extensions coat and my straight knot. Have fun, you'll kick it over and... Two days. Well, are people pissed off about the straight main side. They are. No, yeah. they, they. It's yeah. just like. Well, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're just as pissed off as they were. They want oh, it. Trap. it. It was the better choice, but like you are a man of your word. What do you mean, the straightener? Like six out of eleven people wanted it, as opposed to Wait, like. Did you actually yeah, want yeah, it? Yeah. Oh, actually, not want, but you wanted it that bad. No, like. I'm just saying, like, it was the best option, but I don't care. No, they'll get over in five minutes. It's just the same as any other week. Like, it's just because saying... it's been up. Like, yeah. If... How is it the better option? But they already knew. You've always told everyone all week you weren't going to yeah. get it, so it's I don't know why they got that. Even when up. I, like, before I even won head of house, I was saying, yeah. Jam. <laughs> Okay, you ready for this? How about have another one? Yeah. Have another one, son. Son? Thanks, Pa. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh. oh! Seems like it's all boys here, it feels like. Like, no, like... And I, you know... It, it, I, it's hard because I, I should just get over it, but I find I'll be a very influential person yeah, because he thinks I I'm this monster. Tubies. Yep, come in. Get it, Jimmy! Oh! Oh! oh, oh Shiver! Oh, up, 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 up. Get it! <laughs> oh! I think Nobby is actually really um, mm. playing the game. Is I don't think anyone was until yeah, and and that just and he thinks that I'm really untrustworthy. And when I know that someone said that about me, I think about it lots. So and he's one person in here that I should just forget about. You know, I should just say, well, if you think that, there's nothing I can do. Like, I'm not going to stop being me, and I love doing that. Yeah. You know, organising things, and it's yeah. just me. Yeah. You know, and but because he's such a massive part of this boy gang. Yeah, I think you're right. I just feel like I've got a cow away. Yeah. I don't like Nobby at all. I don't even want to have a party with you anymore. Next, what's Bridget's secret? I can't explain, but you just have to respect the fact that she doesn't want you to talk about it and it's quite serious. Bridget is still worried about Nobby teasing her about boys in the house. She has a secret she doesn't want to reveal. She could get From it. now on, is it possible that when it comes to matters concerning her and hey. Cherry? Or just, just or me Or sexual in matters? Yeah. Or matters flirting of... Flirting matters? Yes. Just anything. Could it Because be... I'm not flirting with Cherry, then there's very good the reason now. for it. Like, I'll just... I think I know what it is anyway. Oh. 
No, I don't think he would. But she, but she didn't know how to tell you that you'd take it seriously and she wanted my seriousness. So, so just if, not to... If what's the name's in the comedy with you tonight, don't, just don't talk about comedy. me at all. Is it because you actually have a boyfriend? And in your application you said you're single? No, that's not... Okay. Yeah. If I go home, it could wreck my, my life. Like, it would wreck my life if this thing was to happen. This thing was to happen? Yeah. If so something on here was to be interpreted the wrong way. And someone wreck your got the life, wrong idea about it. That's don't, don't even try... I, it would. We don't wreck your life. Yeah. Like, just shut your mouth. Is it that hard? Hey, mate. <clears throat> Come on down. Here we are. <laughs> Join the ride. This is how we roll. Joseph Stalin created these four walls, and as he danced, like the Swan Lake. Swan yeah, Lake. I can see Joe. You see yeah. Joe in Swan Lake. Yeah, you know, Swan Lake's good, but then once he has a shot, hot shower, and then you throw, throw. No! And it's good to see that uh, the Big Brother Asylum is starting to uh, kick in. So the wisdom that you have given me today mm -hmm. is far beyond any wisdom mm -hmm. that I have ever received mm -hmm. at any other day mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. in my entire lifetime yep. on the planet. Organs are a very precious part of my body. I know, I've heard you play them. Yes. Good night. Good night, Nob. See you, mate. I'll see you in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Motor is going in there. <laughs> <laughs> we think it's like going to be lions. Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> can't leave it. That's actually oh. broken. Nothing wakes me up. You should so not yeah, be allowed in the like... show if you snore, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> snore is dead. It's really bad because first Rihanna goes, then Ter Terrence. They're not even <laughs> even. <laughs> and Terrence is like this, like, it sounds like a drain, but something's caught in it. <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> Tomorrow on Big Brother, Rory and Rihanna. Is he her Prince Charming? To vote to evict this week's nominated housemates, dial 1902 555 and then for Terence, add 79. For Alice, add 72. For Cherry, add 80. For Rihanna, add 81. Or text their name to 191010. The long votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes from Mobiles Extra. Lines close at 10.45 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 15th of June. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.com.au. Want more Big Brother? You can watch 24-7 on bigbrother.com.au or on your three mobile. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother. Yeah.